Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to do so right now so you don't miss out on demonstrations and tutorials about gambling, sleight of hand, and card mechanics. I publish new videos every single week and would love to have you be part of this team. Now today, I wanna show you how to riffle the deck of cards, how to do a riffle shuffle. Now, first, let's do some explanation. The goal, ultimately, of the dealer is to mix the cards. Now, the dealer can do that in two different ways. He can mix the cards by cutting the deck, and he can mix the cards by shuffling the deck. But those are two terms that are sort of umbrella terms. There are other things involved in them. For example, there's dozens of ways that you could cut the deck, just like there are dozens of ways that you can shuffle the deck. So today we're going to focus on a very specific shuffle and by far the one shuffle you should first of all learn, which is the table riffle. Normally, if you give the deck of cards to anyone and you tell them, hey, go ahead and riffle the, riffle the cards, what you're going to see is this. How many times haven't you seen that? A thousand times, I'm sure. This is an amateur's way of shuffling the deck. So you're not supposed to shuffle a deck like that. You're supposed to shuffle the deck like a professional. So let's get on with the tutorial. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna take the deck and you're gonna split it in half. With time, you're going to develop a touch that will allow you to split the deck precisely in half, 26, 26. Normally, you could be off by two or three cards. That's not a big deal. But over time, you're gonna get it with practice. Now, once you do this, notice the position of the hands. Try to form a type of triangle, if you may, like this. Imagine you're doing something like this, like a triangle, okay? And you're gonna take the deck and you're, you're gonna take the, the packets and you're gonna flip them like this, making a V right here. You're gonna have that V shape. Again, imagine that you have a triangle in your hands. Now you're gonna grab the deck like so, and you're gonna pick the cards up, and you're gonna use your index fingers to bend the cards a little bit inwards. That's going to create pressure with your thumbs exerting force upwards. So your thumbs wanna push the cards up while your index fingers want to push the cards down. You then move your thumbs upward slowly releasing that pressure and that's going to allow the cards to fall down interlacing the tips of the cards they, they start to interlace and weave together once you do that then you square them up using your ring finger both of your ring fingers to push them in and then using your thumbs to square the deck finally you're going to come in with your index fingers and you're going to finally square the deck like so. What that does is that it interweaves the cards one with the other. Again, it is the index fingers applying pressure down and the thumbs applying pressure up that creates that tension. That tension you're going to release it when you start moving your thumbs upwards on the deck. Simultaneously, you move them both towards the top that releases the pressure and the cards start to interweave one with the other so again you pick them up split them in half try to get them as close to half and half as you can you grab the deck and you exert that pressure and then you release the pressure and the cards start to interweave they're interwoven again square up most of the action is going to be in your ring fingers. In your middle fingers and your index fingers are gonna be right here, and you're gonna start pushing them in and squaring them with your ring finger and your thumb doing this. This is what you're doing. You push with your ring fingers and your, and your middle fingers and your thumbs start to do this, to square the cards up. You square them up and now you come here and you run your index fingers to finally square the deck. Learning this technique, learning this table riffle, it's the fundamentals of card mechanics and gambling sleight of hand. Learn this first in conjunction with grips, 
which I have a video for that in the description, and use those fundamentals one with the other. So that's going to be all for today. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep winning the game, and I'll see you guys next week.